exactly the same. So, uh, as I posted that last video on Koki Hall, um, you know, some people thought it was indicative of this Shihan, and you know, some other people rightly pointed out, no, it's totally different. As you can see, it's totally different. Okay, one, 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 has, one has this shape, and one has this shape. It's just totally different, okay? Um, you know, you go, oh, well, there's an arm circle. All right, and that's your shape. <laughs> it's not this, okay? And likewise, as I've always said, there's not a direct one-to-one -one, um, application between Kiho and Waza and a, and a martial um, utilization, okay? The figure, the, the, the utilization is at the conceptual level and the conceptual level uses this shape. This, this, is, this is the symbol for what today we call jujitsu, but this is the symbol for non-contestation. That's the symbol for non-contestation. This, this is not the symbol for non-contestation. This is not the symbol for non-contestation either, okay? Um, and you use this pattern. So I think it was in the knife video, for example, I, I described it as Tenchi Nage Chudan. So they had me in the Russian tie on the two-on-one or grabbing my hand that way, my arm to stop themselves from being stabbed. And I did the same pattern on the uh, inside of my body. Kokiho does it on the outside of my body. But I did the same pattern on the inside of my body, do you see? It's the exact same move. There's only one move in Aikido. It's this, it's just that because in, if you define Aikido as Kihon Waza, there's only one move in the application of Kihon Waza. It's that, okay? Because this is non-contestation, because this is the uh, genesis and regenesis act. That, that's what you do. That's all you have, okay? And it works. Um, here's though what, what deceives us. is as the uke comes in, in the modern Aikido, which is every single Shihan that's alive today or that died after O-sensei. So all the lineage, okay? All that lineage too. Again, they're doing this shape, okay? Is, again, looking at the, there's the top view of the head and the top view of the spine. Then it hits the nage line, Here's the top view of the head, I'm sorry, of the spine, and then here's the top view of the head. They get that L shape, they bend them over, do you see? And then we know eventually they're gonna bring them up and then they're gonna bring them down like that, okay? So eventually this comes back here, the head comes back over, and then the head goes behind the spine. They're now going backwards. So let's, let's look at that point right there, okay? So we're now two dimensional. Here's the lower part of the body. And here's the upper part of the body going backwards. And Naga is now going this way on that 180 clash. Okay, you're gonna throw. At this point, head, feet. Your big male nage, you see, whoever it is, and I, I don't I don't think it has to be even that big a person at this point, is going to do this part of the circle. 
and gets the downward pressure on that circle. And you, that person is going to go boom. And you as the uke with your egocentric orientation of the world is going to go, that really felt powerful to me. And therefore it's powerful. Well, there's a couple things though. It's not that you can't yang yang this. You can. You can yang yang that because the, the yang potential in this body structure is so low that relatively anyone can overpower this. And then a bigger person can really overpower it and give you the subjective sense of power, of objective power. What the modern Aikidoka who goes, that is a good Koku hole. That my teacher could really kill you on that technique. Do you get it? And then they afford them the martial practicality of their Aikido. Is that everything that it took to get to this shape was all choreographed, was all the uke changing the inertia values. That means everything that it took to get to this point in that technique where you felt a delusionally derived objective power, because it's a subjective power, everything that it took to get there will never, ever, ever, ever happen in a fight. So the fact that you felt some power there that you deludedly portrayed as objective power does not make it martial because everything that it took to get there will never ever in a million years happen in a fight and it will never ever be uh, conceptually uh, transferred into another shape. There's just absolutely no way this will function. And that is why I say that version is not martial. And this is also why you, modern Aikidoka, you will struggle with every single uke who will not make those inertial adjustments for you.